A Tallahassee man blasts city leaders tonight. Good evening, I'm Angelica Alvarez. He's criticizing the city's practice of hiring private investigators to look into claims against its citizens. Erwin Jackson accused the mayor and the city attorney of having a political agenda against him. Eyewitness News reporter Mike Springer was at that meeting and joins us live in studio now with what happened. Hey, Mike. Angelica, the, the city says it spent nearly $80,000 last year on private investigators, but the fact that the city is hiring private investigators to check in on its citizens is something commissioners found unsettling and are now calling for, for a full report on the city's PI practices. When I find out that we have the city of Tallahassee hiring a private investigator to spy on me, my business, my employees, and also, I believe, members of my family, that's unconscionable. The city hired a private investigator to look into Jackson when he filed a civil suit against the city over an easement. The city had blocked Jackson from using an easement that goes to his storage shed. Jackson billed the city for $2,500, but the city sent him a check for only $75. The city disputes Jackson's claim, saying he used the shed commercially in a residential zone. But it's the city's private investigative practices that worry some commissioners. I gotta tell you, that's really creepy when we start talking about following people. Documents show the city spent around $400,000 last year on what it calls investigative services, but only about 80,000 of which were spent on private investigators like the one in Jackson's case. The rest, the city says, was spent on investigating mostly insurance claims. Jackson says all of this is because the mayor and the city's attorney have a political agenda against him. It's something the city's attorney, Jim English, says is nonsense and says the assistant attorney made the right call in hiring a PI. We're, we're defendant in the case. You have to have that evidence to take to the judge in April in the trial and show, show your defense. So. But Ziffer says it's time for the city to put the matter with Jackson behind them. A mistake was made. It took a while to rectify. We admitted the fault. We've asked for receipts. We'd be more than happy to pay for these. We should pay the man when receipts are provided and move on. Now Ziffer is asking the city attorney to provide a report detailing how much the city spends on its private investigators and how often the city does it and what the city's policies are for private investigators. Live in the studio, Mike Springer, WCTV Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Mike.